Hello YouTubes! Welcome back Haunt Fam. So last year, remember we did the snowman gift tower for Savage? This year, I want to make a Yeti snow tower, because Yetis are freaking awesome. Why not? We're even wearing a Yeti, driving a hot rod shirt. So uh, let's jump in, let's start this. Okay YouTubes! Uh, to start this Yeti, we need three boxes. I've got one longer one on top of the bottom one. We're going to use his legs. This will be his torso and a little square rectangular one for his head. Really don't matter. Uh, I did go ahead and wrap them in wrapping paper already. I didn't have any white wrapping paper, so I used this reindeer paper and I turned it inside out. But it is actually pretty thick paper. It's not that really news printy type of stuff because we're going to be doing build-ups on here. So the thicker the paper you can use, the better. Maybe part of your city will have one, but if not, as long as you're paper doesn't have the grid on the back from when you're lining up the, the presents when you're wrapping them, you should be fine. Today you just need three white boxes to start with. You can do all the uh, gifts inside already wrapped up, ready to go, and we're ready to start building, man. Uh, I did grab a piece of craft foam. Now remember, if we don't craft, we build. But I got this for like, I don't know, 60, 70 cents at Hobby Lobby. I went ahead and just traced out a little torso on it. It's sort of a pale blue color. I'm going to trim that out. We're going to make that as chest. And then uh, for his arms, I want to go ahead and jump on arms and feet. So I couldn't find the white pool noodles this year. I, I got no luck. So I've got this white one, I've heard, or the blue one I've had laying around forever. And I figure we're going to use the pool noodles as his arms. So for now, I'm just going to roughly bend it in half. All right, these will be his arms. We use the clean ends as his hands. And uh, man, I'm going to go ahead and trim that uh, chest section out. I think we're ready to go to, uh, we'll do hands and feet first. This should be pretty easy. Okay, YouTubes, to start this build, I want to use good old Loctite. And I want to make feet out of this. We're not going to spray the water on because it's probably going to warp the paper and rip it and tear it, even though it is thick stuff. But I do want to do some big old um, Yeti feet on them. And we're going to do the same for the hands and for his face. So basically, we're just going to go up here and put some feet on them. I think we'll kind of just come out with them. And we'll go back later and we'll make some claws for them. Shoot inside the tube some. That should help us hold this thing on. And don't worry about the color of your uh, pull noodle. We can always paint them later. So we got a little hook thumb here. Thicken up this hand a little bit. Alright. Alright, I think we're good. We'll save the rest of this, do the face. I do want to go ahead and glue on our little uh, chest piece. So we're just going to use some spray on Super 77. We'll spray the back of this. Let it tack up for a couple of minutes, and then we'll just slap it on the face. Slap it on the chest. And again, we want it to be super crazy, because it's all going in the trash. And these boxes are not glued together, they're still individual boxes, so we're okay. So if your little belly overlaps, that's fine too. And then we'll slap him somewhere up right around here. And that'll be the chest for our Yeti. Okay, you two, so I'm just kind of mapping out the face. Again, our seam is at the back of the box. So our, for our little Yeti, I chose uh, some ping pong ball eyes, again, because they're going to go in the trash. Nothing, to, don't need to snake anything expensive. Uh, and we definitely got to have horns. You're going to have a Yeti, got to have some horns. And like, I actually even make freaking horns, but uh, I thought, let's just go ahead and make some. They're going to go in the trash. Uh, you can use store-bought horns from Halloween leftovers. Uh, I went ahead and just made a foil armature, and I wrapped it in tape until I got the uh, little ridges. So the masking tape kind of acts as the ridges of a horn would be. And then we'll just throw a quickie brown paint job on them or yellow or whatever color horns you want. And by the time we build this up and go around our horn, we'll have all the little ridges like a sheep's horn. So that's how we're gonna make our horns. And we'll figure out you know, where to place them later. And we'll hot glue these guys on again. You guys know normally I'm a fan of, uh, not a fan of hot glue because it's basically trash, but since most of this is going in the trash anyways, let's just use the trash. So we'll figure out a place for horns later, but uh, I'll finish this guy later. So we'll use our Loctite. 
I definitely want to do a big underbite in this guy just because I'm a fan of underbites. So let's go ahead and make us a little eye holes in here. The leftover can of uh, Loctite we have. Build up his eye rings a little bit. Give him a little nose. And again, I don't think I'm going to do any sculpting on this. Maybe a little bit. Depends. Give him some, some cheekies. But I definitely want a big underbite. So we'll put a big chin on him. And we'll make some hot glue teeth like the snowman we did last year. To put some big old tusks in this guy. This is uh, sticky enough where it's skinned over. So I'm just sort of playing with a little bit. These will be our eye holes. These will be our lower lip, our little cheekbones. Just kind of tucking it down in there. These will be our little nostrils. These guys wiggle down in there. And I'll probably play with that a little bit more before it skins over and firms up. Try and bring up our nostril a little bit. And then I keep our lower lip puffy. All right, let's uh, spin around. Let's work on that chest plate. All right. Again, doesn't matter if it looks warped. It's all going in the trash. All right. Now I think we'll take some just a medium blue color. This is like a satin oasis blue. I just want to go around the edges. I think I'm going to go ahead and spray his face blue while that's curing. Uh, I got his feet down here. We'll do a little color on top of his feet. All right, let's. Uh, we'll paint his face. I'll knock out his hands. Get those ready for nails. And uh, I think we're ready to move on to nails after his face is done. Okay, you tubes. Got our hot glue gun fired up. Let's lay out some toothuses. Uh, I would definitely want to do some uh, lower fangs. I got just a piece of uh, dollar store glass here from, uh, I think Dollar General, just a cutting board for like eight bucks or something. So I like to work on these. So we'll just squeeze us out some teeth, man. Some little basic reverse teardrops. And I think once they cool, we can kind of roll them into a sharper shape. So we'll do bigger fangs for the bottoms. And then we want to do about maybe like what three six big toenails so we'll do some toenails get in there all right come on glue gun okay so my hot glue gun's going on the fritz i don't know what the hell's the matter with this thing so i'm just going to keep laying out a bunch of uh teeth just didn't want to take these new glue sticks. Okay, YouTubes, just want to go ahead and finish his face. His horns are glued on. Never mind the glass. Just want to give him a little bit of dimension before he glue his teeth in. Right, trace his face under his chin. And we'll just wipe it off. So that makes his face stand out a little better. nostrils under his eyes and you can always go back and dry brush and add on might as well glue his eyeballs over in here so thank you mr nice hot glue gun okay got his ping pong balls ready to go and again ping pong balls any color and i think i'm going to go ahead and add some uh irises on them too i think get the other side done Ooh, look how well you work, Mr. High Glue Gun. I love it. Okay. And we got his teeth here. And we'll stick his eyeballs in. Hey, and our face is getting pretty close, man. We got a bunch of different teeth to pick out. We got his nails done. We'll glue those onto the feet. But uh, the hot glue teeth are awesome, and you should be easily able to trim these guys with, say, a pair of scissors. So if you want them sharper or whatever, 
you know, if you want sharp points, you got little kids, you want to dull them a little bit, that's cool too. Like I said, it's all going in the trash. So we'll go ahead and we'll add some teeth in this guy. And then I'll do some finishing touches later. And our little uh, Yeti face will be done. Again, these are all hot glue teeth. We don't care, they can all go in the trash. And glue sticks to itself. Look at that little mug. Okay. All right, you two, put little highlights in his eyes. I went ahead and glued some hot glue ears on with uh, the leftover scrap foam from his little chest piece. So I think he's looking pretty good, man. He's looking pretty monstrous. Uh, I do want to finish off his head here. Uh, I want to try some of this red rust. I don't like my monsters with dirty teeth. I don't like clean white teeth. It's not my thing, especially in the Himalayas. There ain't no freaking dentist up there, so. Ooh, that's not bad. That's a little better. Wipe that off. There we go. Not bad. And I think we'll uh, finish this guy off with the uh, nice dose of monster blood from Brother Vic. The last thing I want to do is put some blood on there. We're going to try some of Brother Vic's permanent monster blood. Awesome stuff. I can hear enough of cobwebs. You'll be doing a lot of blood. Trust me, this is a finishing touch you guys will see in the end. So I'm going to go ahead and just dribble this on. I mean, you could spray it on, you could brush it on. There's a million ways to put your blood on. But uh, I don't want it to be a total bloodbath, but I do don't want to leak down a little bit. So I'm just going to put some back here in his teeth. And I'm going to kind of blow it into place. Look at that. And yeah, that sure is shiny red. Brother Vic loves his blood. I'm going to blow it around. Do a little bit right here between these teeth. All right. And we'll just kind of let it drip on the thing. And uh, let's move on. Let's finish up this body, man. Okay, you tubes, let's hot glue on these toenails. Some big funky corn chip toenails. They just stick right on there, like a charm. All right, get in there. This little pinky gnarly nubby guy at the end. Whoop. We'll put him cockeyed. Whoop. All right, freaking cool, man. Now again, I want to give him the same kind of nasty, dirty corn chip feet that uh, his teeth had. So, where's my rag at? Rag. We'll try and spray some of our uh, red rust. You can do a wash on it too, but. Yeah. We'll just kind of wipe that off. Oh, that's great, man. We'll do this time to dry. We'll do this side the same way. Ooh. That's nasty. All right, so he's got some dirty, grimy toenails. Uh, I think we can go ahead and finish the body. I've got his arms spray painted. I want to glue those on in an upright position, and then we got to put some fur on this guy. Okay, you tubes, so I want to go ahead and hot glue his arms on. I got them cut at an angle, should be pretty easy. We'll just put a big old bunch of glue on here, and then we'll stack it on right there. And if you feel the need, you can always add some more after this first round cools off. This new glow gun is working out pretty good. Okay, YouTube, so our hands are on. Last thing we're down to, final element, is fur. So fur is expensive. You're talking like upwards of $30, $40 at Joann's for like a, a square uh, yard of it. So I went to the thrift shop, and what did I find me? A little baby doll girl coat. So we're about to cut this up, kind of a nice texture. And I think it was like $6.80, it was less than seven bucks. But this is gonna be perfect, so sorry, baby girl. Daddy needs fur. Yes. You, sir, are going to have an awesome tube. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Okay, you he's finished. You guys ready to check this bad boy out? I'll pull you off the tripod. We'll take a closer look. 
All right, YouTube, down to his corn toe feet. Got some blood running down his chest. Check him out with the known victim. Who the knows are part of the uh, Yeti diet? Oh, he even took the candy cane. Look at that. Again, he's just hot glue, mostly trash. Christmas morning, Savage can tear this guy apart. All that can go into trash. And just white wrapping paper, some odds and ends, some really cheap materials. This is the Yeti gift tower. Okay, YouTubes, I hope you guys enjoyed my Yeti gift tower. It's basically just a bunch of scraps that can get ripped apart Christmas morning and all can go into trash. Uh, you can save the face if you want. Last year I got the uh, Savage Snowman face saved. So I hope you guys all have a Merry Christmas. I don't say Happy Holidays, I say Merry Christmas. Hope you guys all have a, a Merry Christmas, a safe, happy holiday with your family. Everybody stay warm, stay healthy, and don't talk about politics. Talk about monsters. Check them out. And you guys can totally build these for your own kids, man. So thank you guys for putting up my antics and for watching me. And again, Merry Christmas to y'all. Till I see you guys again, keep it evil. You, sir, get the knife or the candy cane right up your ass. Piece of crap. Yeah, both. Yep, that's a zombie titty.